it's time for a story from our book, Tales of Friendship with Winnie the Pooh. Each story happens here in the Hundred Acre Wood. Hello. Are you ready to meet Pooh and all his friends? Today, I'm going to read you Roo's new toy. Oh, Roo's got a new toy to play with. Let's see what happens, shall we? Ready? Roo was playing in the sandpit. Ah. When he spotted the perfect new toy. A stick! And what a stick! Just right for making pictures in the sand. Ah. I've got to show Mama, cried Roo. He rushed home. Kanga was stirring her cooking pot. Look at my new toy, Roo cried. It's perfect for drawing. It's perfect for moving this pot, said his mother. Thank you for sharing your stick, dear. Roo liked sharing, but he wished his mama could see that although the stick might be useful for moving pots, it was perfect for drawing. Roo went to visit Pooh. I'm trying to scratch an itch, said Pooh. This will take your mind off it, said Roo, showing Pooh his new toy. It's perfect for drawing. Pooh's eyes lit up. It is perfect. May I borrow it, Roo? Of course, said Roo. The best way to... But Pooh wasn't listening. He was using the stick to scratch his itch. Roo sighed. Pooh hadn't seen how perfect the stick was for drawing any more than Kanga. It was the same with Piglet. He used Roo's new toy to clear some leaves that his broom wouldn't reach. Thank you for sharing your stick, Roo, said Piglet. Roo really liked to share, but he wondered if anyone would see how perfect his new toy was for drawing. He tried Rabbit, who was struggling in his garden. Roo held up the stick. Take a rest and try my new toy. It's perfect for drawing. May I? said Rabbit. He took the stick and eyed it up and down. Then he hoisted it up. Yes, perfect, he declared. Roo wondered what Rabbit was going to draw. Suddenly, Rabbit shoved the stick straight into the ground. Now we'll see who's boss, Rabbit said. There! An enormous turnip sprang out of the hole that Rabbit had dug with Roo's toy. Thank you for sharing your stick, Roo, he said. No one could see how perfect Roo's stick was for drawing. Roo found Eeyore staring at a hole in his roof. What are you doing? asked Roo. Rebuilding my house, sighed Eeyore. What are you doing? Roo sighed too. Sharing my new toy, but everybody keeps using it the way they want to, and not the way I want them to, to draw with, he said. Eeyore nodded gloomily. Friends can be like that, especially with a good sturdy stick. They'll use it for anything. Poo sticks, fishing poles. I guess there's more than one way to enjoy a good stick, said Roo. And I see the perfect way right now. He dipped both ends of his new toy into the mud of the stream bank. It became just sticky enough to stay put on Eeyore's roof. Eeyore looked surprised. I thought that was your special toy for drawing. It was, said Roo. But I found I like sharing even more. Roo waved goodbye to Eeyore and set off to find more sticks. Enough sticks for all his friends. How nice. Roo wants to share with all his friends. Ooh, hear that? Nearly bedtime in the Hundred Acre Wood. Now the day is nearly through, it's time for sleepy heads. But there's something we should do before we go to bed. 
First we get our PJs on, the ones that feel just right. Then we're going to brush our teeth all sparkly and white. Pick our favorite storybook and tuck our toys in tight. Don't forget that hug and kiss, then turn out the light. Snug as a bear can be, dreaming in a honey tree. Snug as a bear, yeah, yeah. Snug as a bear can be. Oh, bother. Think, think, think. Let's go through our bedtime list. Got our PJs on? Yes. We've brushed our teeth? Yes. Read our storybook? Yes. Our toys tucked in? Yes. Hmm. Then what did we miss? Oh, yes. That hug and kiss. Snug as a bear can be, dreaming in a honey tree. Snug as a bear, yeah, yeah. Snug as a bear can be. 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 Snug. Good night, trees. <laughs>